for it set I was born in Disneyland Mickey Mouse was present the day that I was delivered And the way I'm always cutting I something when I be flipping grass It is fact, I done made a dagger there with scissor hands But I'm the Pied Piper Piper of rap shit Just give me a Bible to bash and a pipe of the dang shit Rise from the ranks, get hype on my mind on the ramp It's providing dryness like the fiber we glassed it Welcome back to Behind the Bars 4 We're gonna have a sick battle We got Pamphlet and Jeffers Make some fucking noise <laughs> As I said <laughs> On my left Coming from Skipton We have Jeffers <laughs> And really Do I need an introduction After free tell me who this guy is One, two, three Crazy weekend battle in the pamphlet, man. It's been fucking sick. I know what Jeffers fucking, what Jeffers can do, man. And it's gonna be a sick battle. And he just decided to go first. No? Are you sure you wanna go first? Alright, Jeffers is gonna go first. Right. First round on Jeffers. Yo, so I'd just like to say to Avila and everybody else that said that wearing that cock on my top backfired and didn't pay off that you were wrong. Because it didn't take long and look who I got. So this doesn't take a genius to realise the only reason he agreed to this is because he heard in my battle with Raptor I flashed in my penis. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, mate. It was just a printed T-shirt. <laughs> so for this battle, I actually did some research and I was quite surprised to find how many times you battled a snowman lookalike that's been socked in the eye. <laughs> Okay, there was O'Shea, Fury, Cyrus, Enigma and ZT. Go check out them battles if you don't believe me and think that I lie, but there's proof that this guy has got more flavoured pies and he's got creative rhymes. Oh! See, I've got the greatest mind, but this league must hate me. Why do I always have to battle these don't flop bad boys? <laughs> and now even Pam's joined. Just say, there was Sprungy, he was banned. <laughs> Even though Shawnee Mac are both banned. <laughs> And after that it was Raptor, but if you all follow the, follow the pattern then you'll know that he was banned. So I was thinking you should get together and have a talk with these lads because there's a chance they'll let you back into Don't Flop if you form as a band. <laughs> That really spoiled all my plans. <laughs> Did you realise how many comparisons I had in my pad that I now had to scrap? Oh. Captain Jack Sparrow, <laughs> scrapped. West Ham United, Zandy Carroll, scrapped. Blues <laughs> and Roses, Slash and Axel, Russell Brand and a hundred other fucking long haired bags. <laughs> how can you go from that to a skinhead and look even more camp? <laughs> And on Facebook on Friday when Dave said you should take your dogs for a walk in Skip and I fucking laughed. I thought there is no way he takes his dog for a walk. He carries him in a small bag. <laughs> I'll be back in round two with some more facts, so don't think that I've drawn blanks, but there is just one more thing I wanted to ask. Have you had some surgery done? Because that looks like a drawing plant. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That looks like a refinery oiling plant. Oh, no, no, no. That looks like a space shuttle rocket launching plant. <laughs> Your chin is so fucking big when you travel to battle on the coach. It needs two seats and it's on boarding pass. <laughs> right. Get him! on his top. That just proves he's diamond in bread. Why did you come here instead with one on your head? Oh, I'm, I'm sick and tired of these faggots always saying the same jokes. I'd never do that because my tongue is assy. You're an ugly rabid fucking bastard. Your mother's face looks and smells like mustard gas in an onion sandwich. You're a wussy you zero. You had the opportunity to look like a hero when that ugly weirdo was bullying Nero. <laughs> <laughs> but you fucking flaked. Because you're the town bun. 
You had the look on your face like, okay, Jefferson, if they get loud, bruh. <laughs> I would have stepped straight in like, get back now, bruv, you round, rowdy, drunk, scouts are cunts. <laughs> yeah! I spit better than this inbred dick cheddar flavoured big member inspector. The only thing ever Chris Jeffers gets sex with is heifers. Oh! <laughs> Scared cunt bothering me. I came here strong, Warrington, please. Why you give me the grey head bun from the Poddington Peas? Oh! More on that later. <laughs> I honestly had to turn down performing with Lord Finesse when he toured in Leicester to talk to Jeffers. <laughs> so I'ma make sure that you'll regret this chop your lettuce with my sword. It's called revenge, bitch. You're pathetic. Mm. Perfect. Ick. <laughs> See, it doesn't matter what colour your hair is, your verse is back to me. It ain't your hair that's grey, bitch, it's your fucking personality. Oh. Oh. Let me use an analogy to prove this dude's not nice if you're a photocop, I cost 12p, you cost 5. <laughs> you're a pervy, damn lonely cunt, I'll serve him and show him up. I bet your friends all live in dirty, damn pokey huts and they got memberships to a working man social club. <laughs> Sexual disease with your cheap friends and do speed on the weekends and your highlight of the week is when you speak to the bin men. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got good projection but this faggot isn't loud. You're as annoying as trying to rap to all the crowd with rapture in the crowd. Time. <laughs> 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 Yo, so he called me. Round. Yo, so he called me inbred. Being from Skipton, I should expect this, but I never will accept it. The only thing inbred about me is my rhymes, because at least they're fucking relative. Oh! Oh! Talking about my grey hair, everyone always brings that angle in. But I'm finding coming up with flips for this even more challenging because the only reason you keep bringing it up is you're all jealous. I'm the only rapper in your ear going platinum. Oh! Yeah! Yo, Jeff! Yo, I'm rapping it greyer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will whip you to bits because pamphlet is paper. Make sure it fits when I hand it to Taylor. Your fitting new image, Popeye the Sailor. Yeah! <laughs> 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 I will spit in your spinach, you cockney invader. You'll never be king unless we're talking potatoes. The north is the greatest, the south is the fakest. This isn't the most complicating equations. You can tell by my tone that I'm getting frustrated because it looks like I'm taking another loss just for the sake of entertainment. <laughs> but I won't shave my hair off in, just to try to make a statement, although I might shave my hair off if I want to get rid of all these grey bits. <laughs> but fucking, but fucking, but fucking rapist! <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Did you think I was joking? Now, nah, behave, bitch. Let's talk about your hazardous debut. I mean, I know it's been ages, but there's even more proof that you really just say shit. Pamphlet, will you please explain this? How the fuck can you clap a machete without getting your veins slit? Without <laughs> using your brain split, I mean, syllables are sick, but making sense, that's the main thing. <laughs> Odd mum joke, even though that they're hated by some, but I won't use this opportunity to drop any names in. I'm sure you'll all clock in which direction it's aiming if you take a minute to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, how is your mum? I almost missed that, Downey. And there is no doubting she is proper slutty. I fingered that bitch and got it gushing, then left it dripping this smelly fluorescent dripple. I call that bitch octopussy, because when I'm fingering her, she can take a full tentacle. <laughs> to make my bars intellectual and I will tell you stuff straight because it's the only way I'm heterosexual but, but you are blatantly intellectuals and couldn't be more camp than a gay pride festival I bet right now as I'm spitting my bars you're not thinking flips you're thinking dick, arse, testicles but, but in this next round I'm going sensible not, not a single joke just bars in its place because make no mistakes I didn't come here today to make any mates I came all the way from Skipton today to say fuck off Louis Spence you fucking gay <laughs> Nice. 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 Nice.
feel good, but the second isn't hard, it's usually because in the first they didn't write their bars. Oh. <laughs> and this next, this next round goes out to that last battle. <laughs> you look like you came here on Lex Luger's Red Scooter. <laughs> you look like Brewers the Barber Beefcake's Fruity Retarded Cheesecake. <laughs> you look like Mr. Fuji's Sister's Boobies. <laughs> you look like you like strumming a banjo with Papa Shango. <laughs> You look like Chris Benoit's pink neck scarf. You look like, like Chris Jericho's big stethoscope. You look like Dean Malenko's penis trench coat. You look like Jimmy Hart's sister's farts. You look like the smoking gun's homeless mums. You look like the Beverly brothers had sex with each other. You look like China's vagina. You look, you look like Mae Young's gay son. What? Sorry. You look like the British Bulldog's been licking bullfrogs. You, you look like your anus span is Shane McMahon. You look like Jake the Snake's raisin cakes. You look like the Iron Sheik's giant jeep. You look like giant Gonzalez spent time in the barbers. You look like the blue beanie's new penis. You smell like breath fart, wet fart. You just said breath fart, you said a breath fart. In comparisons, that was quite a cool angle, but I'm afraid it was the battle before. You've got the wrong one, you fucking damn good. <laughs> no, no, fucking no. Listen, listen, yo. Oh, oh mate. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, listen, my words are weapons, so they. Every silly ball you throw at me like I am a juggling matador. Metaphors, similes, word plays, I pack them all. I will sun you so bad you'll regret ever wearing factor four. I'm in, the, I'm in my prime with rhyme, so I transform. I will chop you down until my hands are sore. With schemes so deep they'll leave you up shit creek without a boat. That's how I'll make you stand in awe. My mind, my mind frame and solid structures have helped me gain some glad support. So now my stance is firm and you can't budge it like your skin and had the chancellor call. Yo, I knew, the, I knew the task at hand and road ahead was tall So when the villa asked if I could bet a pamphlet in a battle I said yeah, brochure I will, I will yes. I will write a Shakespeare script so intricate it could leave billboard And there's still more A novel idea to make the scheme sit that a leaflet in deep shit I always wondered, is he bitch or is he male? You see, <laughs> It's my attention to detail the reason why today this comic flyer will be getting took. Because I realised in my last battle with Raptor, lyrically it wasn't the best that I've ever done. So like a forgetful inventor, this time I've decided to book my ideas up. Because some jokey bars just wouldn't be enough. I needed to stay sharp and leave you feeling blunt, so I guarantee it's me and not this tailor that makes the cut. Nice. More than I forgot, you look like Big Boss Man if he was a Rick Ross fan. <laughs> this is what King Kong Bundy did on Sunday. <laughs> Yo, I'm so fly, it's like my life gets air miles. With a big hairstyle, you look like Ric Flair's child. Oh! <laughs> when it comes to rapping words, Pam is the best. Your luck took a rapid swerve dressed in your waist, because not only was this fag as first as whack as it gets, it looks like a massive bird shat on your head. <laughs> Lived cause you are his twin brother. With long hair, a beard, and a rather big gut, you'd be Father Christmas. <laughs> Hold my stare and tell me honestly, you ain't gonna never stole your hair from Tony Blair. <laughs> Get it. His hair ain't even grey anyway. It's really black and nicer. Oh it just it just looks like it's actually wire because it's wrapped in wire. Oh. Oh. I'm a star, man. 
Bowie! <laughs> you left friends to become a failure! Joey! <laughs> you remind me of my mate's cat! Snowy! <laughs> Cause you're a massive pussy <laughs> Fuck this kitty cat Who ain't ever gonna rip it bad Looking like Blizzard, Shag, Finn and Stad You're like the burn from the birthing fern Britain got spurned in from Philip Shaft <laughs> Looking like someone wouldn't give a trim and bath To Jimmy Sav oh. You ain't even a silver fox You can't a silver back gorilla Like the one in Villa spout When he flipped my shitty lap you look like, you look like an, an, an extra on every film about Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you could be my brand. <laughs> so, Can we please go to the Bobby Chucky's Christmas party? So, in you end up wrapped in wire, just watch Pam Flute, who's like one of my mates, we've battled a few times, travelled around over for ages. Jefferson's, like, 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 recently, like, I re really, like, enjoy his battles. I think he's one of the stronger one-comers, and after that performance, like, I'm battling him soon, and in the best of all, I am at some shit here he's fucking really, really good. Um, Pam Flute is, and always will be, the king of irrelevant multis. For me, irrelevant multis, he's not win battles, they make people laugh. He yeah. got probably more crowd reaction because he's pamphlet, because he had a round of emotions, and because some people ain't watch battle. To me, he wasted a full round on stupid shit. His first round wasn't as good as Jeffers. Jeffers stumbled after doing a flip, and that's the thing is a battle. If you do a flip, you struggle to get back into your ring shit. He pulled it back in after five seconds. He got it out, it was clever as fuck. I'm not breaking it down round by round. Just for me, as a person who was battling his opponent, or somebody who was saying stuff that round for no reason. Give it to Jeff as all day. Fuck him out for Not on a personal shit. It's just Pamphlet wants to get fucked by men, so do it for him. Boom! Chronicle wrapped in wire. Jeffers versus Pamphlet. We've seen quite a few battles in the past. Who was Pamphlet just had a lot of funny shit like him. I know said he had, he had a lot of, he used to kick the ball around and hold his face and he just spat a lot of funny shit so Pamphlet. Boom! Ah shit man. Three ways! <laughs> Yeah man, uh, three ways, uh, shout out to DNA for win 23 records. Um, I feel like shit because I've got to be the one to decide it. Um, I think first round, Jeff was, Jeff was obviously took it. Um, second round, like, like in Uendo said, he came with some irrelevant mullies and got the crowd laughing like that. Um, I think that in the first round, Jeff has took it. Second round, I think Jeff has took it. Third round, Innuendo, uh, not Innuendo, fucking hell, I'm pissed. Uh, pamphlet obviously took it, but first and second, Jeff has, uh, third in um, Pamphlet, so I'm going to go for Jeff has. Right, check out Pamphlet CD. Wow, that's what I call music. <laughs>